guys and welcome back. Uh, this week what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be changing the worktop in the kitchen area because the worktop that I had on there was just a temporary one until I decided on what type of worktop I wanted. So I've gone for a solid wood worktop so I'm just going to go ahead now remove the uh, gas hob and the sink and then mark out the worktop and where I want to place it. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, okay guys, so that's the sink out. Uh, I've now just got to get the drinking water tap out and the gas hob. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, so that's all that's stripped off now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the worktop out and see what that looks like. So just bear with me while I get that out. Okay guys, there's the worktop all cut out now. Uh, ready for me to cut out the holes for the cooker and for the sink, which is my next job. Uh, it's solid oak, it's a lovely piece of wood, not the cheapest thing to buy, but hey ho, it does look nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead now, mark out the holes for the sink and the hob, and then get it all screwed down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay guys, so that's the worktop um, holes cut out for the uh, gas hob and for the sink. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to be cutting the piece to go on the sides of the worktop and I also want to put some sort of a splash back across here as well. So I'm just going to measure up for this side part of the uh, worktop and then I'm going to get it all screwed down then get the sink and everything in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the hob in place and the sink in place. So then now I can uh, decide how I'm going to do this splashback on here. So I'm just going to go ahead now and do that. Okay guys, that's the gas hob put in. Uh, next job I want to do is possibly look at putting the sink in place or the uh, flashback at the back here. So I'm just going to decide on that now.
Right, okay then guys, so that's now the sink and the uh, gas hob all put in. So let me go ahead and show you that. So there you go, that's the sink in and the gas hob all put in place now. Um, my next job on here is to basically fix this side in that I've got here. Uh, I need to screw all that down, that's just sitting there temporarily. Uh, I also want to put a splash back on the back here. I'm going to use the same material that I've used for the worktop and just put a splash back on the back here. And then on the back of the unit, so then on the back of the unit, I want to cover all this in here, remove them plugs that are here, and uh, redo all them. Yeah. So that's the plan for that today. And then and then what that'll do then is it'll leave this uh, gap here on top of these drawers where I'm thinking about possibly putting a microwave. So that's something that I'm going to be looking at as well. So what I'm going to do now guys is I'm just going to go and screw this down and make the uh, splash back and then uh, we'll carry on from there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, that's the worktop all finished now. Uh, I'm really pleased with that, it's turned out really well. Um, I did put some oil on the worktop. Uh, I used this uh, Osmo oil, which is meant to be really good. So that's what I did with that. Um, as you can tell the difference in the color from the, the off cut I got here, which I'm just keeping as a, a sink cover uh, compared to the rest of it. It's uh, turned out really well. So guys, that's the end of this video. Um, what I'd just like to say is Happy Christmas and New Year to everyone because by the time this uh, one goes out it'll be nearly Christmas. So hope you all have a good one and please don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe and like button and please do leave some comments. Thanks very much guys. Bye.